Good evening and welcome, dear viewers of Channel 2 of KTV2 in your daily program, which covers all the events and activities such as social, art, technical, medical, cultural, sports, and political. And it hosts a lot of artists, athletes, doctors, engineers, and intellectuals in various fields, and all that in daily half an hour except for the weekend. Welcome back. I'm here today with Ambassador of Bangladesh, Major General Mohammed Ishab. Hello and welcome to our show, Your Excellency. Thank you very much for inviting me today, giving a chance to speak to you in the yes, Kuwait so television. How, how does it feel that you're here today on TV and what would you like to share with us? Yeah, first of all, I would like to thank you once again, you and the, through you, the all viewers, especially the Kuwait television, for inviting me today here and allowing me to speak. Uh, sharing my experience with you today. Yes, definitely. And we had this side talk before we came on air, is that before you were an ambassador here in Kuwait, you did something else. So can you tell us more about that? Oh, you're asking me about my small little, uh, my uh, resume, my life stories. You know, basically I'm not a career diplomat over here. You know, I started my career as a military officer in the year, back in year 1979. I was commissioned in Bangladesh military. And from second lieutenant down to, I've gone up to their general. After having served there more than 36 years, Bangladesh government has appointed me as the ambassador of Bangladesh to the state of Kuwait, and also the Bangladesh ambassador to the Republic of Yemen. I'm, I'm stationed in Kuwait. From here, I'm discharging my duties. Yes, definitely. That sounds very interesting. Can you tell us how long you've been the ambassador of here, uh, of Kuwait, uh, in, here uh, in Kuwait, of uh, Bangladesh? And how is that experience so far? Right, thank you so much. Uh, I'm here for last about uh, two years and two months. I came in September 2013 for the first time. And uh, thereafter I'm here in almost two years and, uh, and two months. Now if you ask me the experience, my impression, first impression is wonderful. You know, Kuwait is a, such a beautiful country. Uh, I loved its culture and history and heritage. I've gone through it. I loved it so much, especially the, the hospitality of the people and the frankness and the, the overall atmosphere environment that I find here. I feel at home at times. I feel I'm at my second home. That's always great to hear. I think it's very touching for everyone to hear that. So can you tell us some of the similarities between Kuwait and Bangladesh? Similarity we have a lot of. We, have, we can share our, um, you know, culture you know first of all we are from the muslim ummah bangladesh yeah. is a you know is a, is a uh, about 90 about uh, more than 88 percent people are muslims so the we have we share that uh, our culture and the religion beside that overall that uh, that uh, that culture of the asian culture we fall in the asia that we have that uh, culture also yeah. and by and large i find people of kuwait are very caring very hospitable if I visit some of my friends' house, I find them so caring. Same, you go back to Bangladesh. The people of Bangladesh, they also love their, 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 their uh, guest, if you find someone. So, but quite a lot of similarities. And, um, and I also visited Kuwait in, back in 1997. Yes, uh, and how is it uh, different to what it is right uh, now? Yeah, a lot of difference, I find. 1997, after the you know, Gulf War, you know, the country was you know, you know, uh, under some stress. And now it has developed a lot, huge development. When I came in there was only one hotel here, Hotel Meridian perhaps. Now so many hotels and so much of developments. And it's a wonderful country is going very fine. Yes, definitely. So what are some of the beautiful things about Bangladesh that you'd like to share? Uh, about Bangladesh, I can share many things. This is my wonderful, my country, my motherland, my beloved country. This is a country that uh, uh, very unique in nature in the world. It's, uh, say, this is the country has earned their independence through a, uh, from a struggle by war, through a war of liberation. This is the only country in the world that has fought for their own mother language. That's why you'll find that 21st February in the world, 21st February is known as International Mother Language Day. And all over the world, by the United Nations has declared United uh, uh, International Mother Language Day. This is one. And this country has a, my country has a huge potential. It's a huge people, 160 million people. And, 
a uh, lot of potentiality that we have. We have a huge, vibrant uh, uh, population. Then our economy is doing very fine. And then, uh, say so at the moment, our uh, uh, garments is one of the world largest uh, garments in the world. I think after China, we are the largest garments. Wow, that's our, interesting. Our, Can you yeah. tell us more about that? Like, like say about, uh, just uh, one word, like now, uh, almost uh, four million women folk are working in the garments industry. Okay. And this, uh, they earn about, about around, uh, I think, 17 to 20 billion dollar a year from the garments alone. Mm -hmm. So, this is one thing very important. And if you see the beauty of the Bangladesh, is you know we, we have the we have the uh, l most number of rivers in the world. Huge rivers we have more than uh, they said small and big 360 rivers, but major rivers we have around more than 40 major rivers. Then we have sea, Bay of Bengal. Then we have hills. It's a combination of hills, sea, and rivers. Mm. It's a it's a country of serenity. You know, it's a beautiful country. I wish you come and visit yes, one day my country. Yes, definitely. When you're saying this, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I have to go visit and see all those beautiful yeah. uh, places. So, can you tell us some of the differences that you see between your country and Kuwait? Uh, a difference. Uh, I, I, difference, of course, there. Difference in language, difference, some bit of culture, uh, difference of uh, way of living. Uh, this, 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 these differences are there. Yes. So, a significant number of Bangladesh uh, expats are working in Kuwait. Can you tell us about them and what are they working as, and what are some of the different things they're doing to the economy here in Kuwait? That's a, you know that's a very pertinent question for me as ambassador. I'm very happy to answer to that. We have approximately 187,000 Bangladeshi working in Kuwait, and I must say it may be a little plus or minus. So we call it say 200,000, and they are very effectively contributing to the development of Kuwait. And at the same time, they are earning a, uh, I must say, good remittance for Bangladesh as well. And these people here, we have professionals, we have doctors, we have engineers, uh, we have many. Uh, uh, we have doctors, we have engineers, we have technicians, and we have skilled manpower, and we have semi-skilled and the unskilled manpower. Mm. So they all are doing a wonderful job here. For those people, after I, re I assume my responsibility as the ambassador here, I have taken a lot of initiatives, some measures. So number one, I wanted a direct communication with my people, my countrymen. So, uh, for that I introduced helplines. These people, living in Kuwait, they can reach to me, my embassy, anytime through yes. six. We'll definitely continue on just after the short sure. break. All right. Welcome back. We're continuing on with our interview with the Ambassador of Bangladesh. So you were saying about the expats here in Kuwait and their role in the community. Yeah. I was talking about that. Uh, what are the measures that I have taken for the uh, development, betterment of these uh, people? I talked about the helpline, through which they can reach to any problem, any problem they're facing, they can reach to me or my embassy. Then I have taken other measures like the Open Day Forum. I have uh, once in a month or twice in a month, a day and time fixed. Anybody can come to me for their, they want to have any, they want to take any assistance, any suggestion from the, from the embassy. Likewise, I have like the health awareness program for my Bangladeshi people. Yes. You know, Bangladesh is a different weather, has a different weather. So their health care, I, I, we would do take, we make some workshops, we make, we, sometime we bring doctors and check their health beside your own health system. Yes, and what else do you have? Then, like, I, I publish the newsletters, once newsletter three, uh, after every three months, through which we can tell them what the embassy is doing. Mm -hmm. Then I organize a lot of sports and cultural events for these people, mm -hmm. like football, like cricket, or leagues, and the how to do our national yes. game, sports. Then, like, we also do something at times, we visit the our labor hostels, how these people are living, you know, how, how is there any problem they have. Then we also had the blood donation program for the Kuwait. Kuwait is such a brotherly country, 
I shall speak later that in your Gulf War we participated. So yes. in our Victory Day and Independence Day, we organized the blood donation and the expatriate Bangladeshi people came forward spontaneously to give blood for your central blood bank. Yes, definitely. So these are the measures nice. you have taken for. Uh, yes, for something this. really nice to hear about yeah. and know. We're going to cut to a report about Bangladesh to see more about this beautiful country just after this short break. Ja to dekhi pran bhare na Rida her maje rakhi tare Happiness needs no reason this is what you will feel when you come here. Things that you will do, people that you will meet, will keep on surprising you. Mystic wind. Your mind is a traveler. Now let your heart be the tourist guide. a story to tell. So when you leave, you leave with stories that you can treasure, friends that will last a lifetime. Welcome back. That was definitely one of the greatest videos I've seen of Bangladesh. It looks really nice. Would you like to comment on it? People, you have seen the you know rivers, the lakes, etc. You will see the, how happy the people are in their village. We are a developing country, but you will be happy to note that once upon a time, Bangladesh was indexed number one in the world as the happiest nation. Wow. I think everyone seeks to be happy and Absolutely. I think the video just showed us a demonstration of how to be happy no matter what you're going through or whatever the circumstances are. Yes. So what is the relationship between 
Kuwait and Bangladesh. Right. Uh, this is an, as, a, as a diplomat, this yes. is a very pertinent question for me, the relation between Bangladesh and Kuwait. You know? the, in, in one word, if you ask me, this is, a, you know, is excellent, is outstanding. You know why I say outstanding and historic? Because Bangladesh after its birth, after the independence, Kuwait is the first Gulf country amongst the Arab countries recognized Bangladesh as the independent country. So we are very grateful to our this uh, friendly country, Kuwait. Yes, we see now on the screen there are different pictures. Can you tell us more about those pictures and the uh, events that they took part in? Right, uh, this is the picture that I can see one of the program organized in uh, Bangladesh Embassy. Uh, perhaps it is the, uh, this one, uh, yeah, this one on the, uh, you can't read from here. And what about this uh, one? This one is the, you know, uh, the Pita Utshop is a food festival organized by the Bangladesh community here. Ah, nice. Varieties of the you know sweet sweet dishes are here. Very yeah. nice. And, and this one that this? Uh, one of the one of the occasion where I I inaugurated the first Bangladesh school in Kuwait. I okay. named that Morning Glory Bangladesh International School. Yeah, we'll talk more about that yeah. school later on after okay. this. So let's see the other picture as well. What they have. So. Yeah, we can see it. This here. is perhaps one of the one of the uh, tournaments. Tournament, maybe. Yeah, yeah. After the tournament, the prize giving ceremony. Uh, maybe you know uh, the lot of uh, uh, the cricket or football after that. You know. Yeah. Yes, definitely because you talked yes. a lot about the yeah, sports. Yeah, this is what is our national about game. This one? Oh no, this is our national game. We call it Hadoodoo. Hadoodoo, -do 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 -do, you know. Yeah. This is our national Sounds game. Sounds interesting. Being played by our so. expatriate here. Yes, looks really nice. And what about this? This is one of the pictures, I believe, that in our, we call Pahela Boishak, the ba Bengali New Year. Okay. On that day, the expatriate, they organized a cultural and program. And which day is that? It's the Pahela Boishak, 14th April, normally. Okay. You know. And what about this picture? We see it in this the This is a picture of what I said. In one of the initiatives, what I do, I go and visit the hospitals to see my patients. I send the teams okay. to various hospitals to okay. see That's how Okay, that's very nice. Are. And touching. And what about this? This is I was playing golf in your wonderful club, uh, Shahara Golf Club. I was playing yes. golf. This is me. They are showing me here. <laughs> Looks like a nice game. Yeah, it's a very nice game. What, what about this? These are the you know, spectators are enjoying a, a huge gathering here, Bangladeshi expatriate, enjoying the our victory day or one of the cultural programs they are enjoying. Yeah, that's why I said the blood donation. Twice we gave blood donation program. This I initiated one first blood donation by giving myself the blood for your central blood bank. Wow, that's really nice and amazing. And what about this? This is my Bangladeshi school, Morning Glory Bangladeshi school. Introduced this year with the help of the some community business uh, yes. leaders. So can you tell us more about the school? Right. Uh, we, as I said, we have about uh, almost 200,000 Bangladeshis, but we did not have any school here before. Yes. So this was a dream of the Bangladeshi people to have their own school because their children wants to be educated here in their own school. With the help of some Bangladeshi entrepreneurs, some leading businessmen, I, I could establish this school for the first time. This year we have started with the you know, preschool yeah. up to class 1 and 2 standard. Inshallah, next year we'll go up to primary level and subsequently we'll make a full facility school in Kuwait. Yes, hopefully. And what about the radio station? I believe that you're working on a new program. Can you tell us more about it? Yeah, that's another pro another very interesting uh, that uh, I must say uh, we, what we have done here because uh, our Bangladeshi people are scattered to many places in Kuwait. It was difficult to reach them. I'm very grateful to my, uh, His Excellency, your, uh, uh, the, the, the Minister, Honorable Minister, Sheikh Salman, the Information Minister and the Minister for Youth and Culture. When I met him, I requested him to give me a segment for uh, reaching my people. He was very, I was very happy to receive from him one hour, uh, thrice a week, he gave me. Uh, perhaps it is on uh, Friday, Monday and Wednesday, yes. from 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock. I reach to my people, I pass them a lot of instructions. Definitely. They want to listen to something Bangladesh, they want to listen to the songs. So this is how I can reach to these people and they love this program. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And through our show and today you said you wanted to say something in Bangladeshi and then maybe translate it to English. Okay. I mean, uh, I, yes, I want to speak to my the Bangladeshi viewers okay, today. Okay, sure. I mean, I want to speak to my Bangladeshi viewers today. 
প্রথমে আমি আপনাদেরকে আমি শুভেচ্ছা জানাচ্ছি অভিনন্দন জানাচ্ছি এবং ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি আমাদের এই প্রোগ্রামটা শোনার জন্য আমি আমি আপনাদের আমি আপনাদের সাথে নিয়ে কুয়েত টিভিকে ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি আমাকে দাওয়া আজকে ইনভাইট করার জন্য দাওয়াত দেওয়ার জন্য আমি আশা করি আপনারা ভালো থাকবেন কুয়েত আমাদের অত্যন্ত প্রিয় একটি দেশ আমাদের সঙ্গে অত্যন্ত ভালো সম্পর্ক রয়েছে কুয়েত অ্যান্ড বাংলাদেশ আপনারা কুয়েতের আইন কানুন মেনে চলবেন এবং আপনারা যেভাবে কুয়েতের অবদান ডেভেলপমেন্ট অবদান রাখছেন বাংলাদেশের অবদানে বাংলাদেশের উন্নয়নে আপনারা অনেক অবদান রাখছেন আমি আপনাদের সকলের সুস্থতা এবং সুন্দর জীবন কামনা করছি What I told my people in Bengal is that Bangladesh and Kuwait are two very friendly countries, you know. We have an outstanding relation, historic relation. I told them that you are definitely contributing to the development of Kuwait as well as Bangladesh. So please know more about the Kuwaiti laws, rules and abide by those. And take care of yourself, your families, so you live happily here. I think here. that's the best advice you could give to anyone here in Kuwait, whether it's in Kuwait or any part of the world. Thank you so much for being here today, Your Excellency, and sharing all those different information with us today. Thank you very much for inviting me. I would like to thank again the Minister and your Director of the KTB and you, you and the, all the viewers for inviting me and allowing me to speak a few words. Yes, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you very much. Thank you for tuning in tonight. I hope you enjoyed today's episode along with all the different reports. Please tune in tomorrow at the same time.